Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer. And I'm the Antagonist Voice. And we are back playing Suzerain. Yes, uh, so I did just pull up the journal because I needed to be reminded what we did last time. Uh, we did award the construction contract for the railroad to Taurus Holding, um, which, let's see whether or not that was a good decision. It's the young and upstart, sort of uh, very new entrepreneurial And we company. don't know if they're up to it, but they, at least they respect workers' rights. So yes, we went so that's, for them. that's important. But we do have a bit of problems with our neighbors to the north, oh, Rumberg. Rumberg, Rumberg. We're closing in, it seems, like there's military movement involved and embassies are being closed, if I remember yeah, correctly. True. Yeah. So that's not good. Um, what do we have on the table this time? The reform committee. Okay, so I think that does relate to the constitutional reform, probably. Yes, yes. Well, so we are meeting to discuss the constitution. Reform slowly. Significant expansion. Yes. Expectation from government. Hmm. Blame the constitution for the outstanding problems. I think it's... So people are not a big fan of this old Seoul constitution, it seems. Lucian, Peter, and Nia. Lucian, our chief strategist. Peter? No. Peter? Maybe? Ah, he's punctual. I like him. Obsessive. Yeah. No, I like that. Uh, it's the character. No, no. We are saying good afternoon. We do appreciate that. So, what's up? Who is she? Nia. Uh, oh, Nia. Yeah. Nia Morgan. Minister of Justice, I think. Yes. And Mr. Vice President. Right, let's see. Um, results. How does it look? Let's be a bit impatient. Quite complicated, okay. So, yes, everybody is here. So let's begin. Peter. Point of contention. Meeting's fruitful, okay, that sounds like She's too so she polite. started on a constitutional draft. So let's see it. The reformers demanded a little too much. Yeah, I think he's he's the not main opposition, but one of the opposition guys with the liberal party PFG. Okay, but the, I mean that's positive. They created a draft together, and she even says it could go through the Supreme Court. Peter's a little bit more upset. Uh, he's saying they didn't demand a little too much. They demanded way too much. Yeah. I she's think saying it wasn't realistic what they demanded. But also talking about common ground. So, yeah. yes, we do need them to yeah. get, get that. And I think just as a reminder, there's a two thirds majority that we need in the assembly, which is, I guess, over here somewhere. Legislative. So two thirds we will need, well, oh no, no, they are actually the main party. So that would be 200 seats, but I'm not sure whether everyone of our party is actually going to support that. And we need a simple majority in, in the, the Supreme, Supreme, Court, Supreme Court. Which is a problem. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so it's five old guards, six centrists, three uh, or six centrist and reformist. Could be, but only if we really get everyone on board there. Yeah, let's talk about the assembly first. I mm -hmm. think it's a smaller problem. Prince Richter, yeah. Yes, our own party is a problem. That's what we said. The majority of our 130 assembly is assembly seats mm -hmm. and full support of 70, we will surpass 166. Yeah. But I think, yeah, indeed, our own party seems to be the main problem here. Well, we will convince the leads, leads maybe, yeah. yes. Alban Kelvin. So he's the reformist wing of our own party, if I get that Never right. Never seen him before. Aggressive debate and strong supporter of Alfonso. That's okay. Okay, so he, uh, he's probably yeah. in anyway, so yeah. the yeah, conservatives exactly. would be tough to break because they want to stay with the Saul constitution, yes. Um, I'm wondering yes. how many how many parts? votes do they have? Forty seats. Forty seats. So we've got a hundred and thirty, which none of those vote for us. Then it's ninety plus the seventy of if if we take every one of them. It, Barely enough. Yeah, that is very. It's, yeah. it's a tightrope. So I, I I think the key to this is gonna be 
to make everyone a little bit happy to not you know if we swing to any extreme we're losing crucial votes either left or right you know what i'm saying yeah but we still do want to make a reform and it's saying okay yeah but sort of mushy little bit of everything gloria so gloria oh, yes. tory is the leader of this of the conservatives She's not our interior minister, is she? Um, no. She looks a little bit like her. No, I don't think so. Okay. She's a member of assembly, uh, speaker of the Grand National of Assembly. I think she might be in Orso's pocket. Who's Orso? I've got no idea. Scroll down over there again. Doesn't say anything over here. No. Is that one okay. of the businessman gates? Could can we be? Actually look yeah, up can just search, search him. Also, also Hawker. Uh, ah, okay. Oh, see, he's he's a member of Supreme Court. Yeah, and probably like old uh, as old God as they come. I'm guessing. Yes. So let's uh, see whether we can pass the Supreme Court since we are with him. Biggest obstacle, even if we pass the Assembly. Yeah. Yes, the Chief Justice, which is also. So six. we need six out of eleven, but he has influence over the others, which actually he shouldn't. But we can't really change that right now. I d I'm not sure what it means that all means are to be considered in order to succeed. But the the other one, they will surely support a just cause for the country in its future. It sounds very naive, isn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. No, they no no. Just I'm, I'm willing to go a little bit dirty, but not all out. I think if we go all out dirty, we're not gonna, we're not gonna. Oh, Nia's not oh, a fan. Yeah, Nia's not a fan. Well, okay, we've got one vote. That's that's lovely. Two of the judges are friends of mine, or similar opinion. So, yeah, we've I'm got guessing, three. I'm guessing that's the three reformers here. Might be, don't know. But then we have three Already. centrist. Who else would be willing? I'm sure the others can be arrived. <laughs> no. We might Judge have to. Edmonds and in extension Mr. Dalton, yeah. Mr. Merton. I think that's I think that's probably the centrists. They weren't really blinded, that's good. Okay, Isabel Edmonds. Youngest person. Graduated from Harvard. Uh also. Appointed by Alfonso, I like that. Democracy and secularism. And has spoken out against the oppression of solar state apparatus. So ah, but anti-communist and socially conservative. I can work with the anti-communist bit and with the with the non non strongman state. I wonder how their demands. Okay. Okay. The, the, new the first red line. The new constitu constitution will fix the loopholes regarding the president's absolute veto powers. That's an interesting point because I think the the, the first choice that we were given to sign uh, a law or not was actually regarding whether the party financing stuff, right? Yes. And and mm -hmm. it feels like we were the game is telling us that the constitution does have too much power resting in the president because he can veto any bill. Passed by the uh, passed by the assembly, but uh, on the other hand, if we do that, it's also not the best always. So let's see. But the thing is, you have to also consider who's the president and what the system is. I mean, sure. even even if he has absolute veto powers, depending on the system, he could still choose to not use them. So th there seems to be. A balance between, or, or the question whether veto should be completely removed, or whether it's it's sort of this absolute voting voting power veto power. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree to that. Yeah, statement. I agree with her. Uh, one person should never be able to block the rest. I mean, if there's uh, an assembly that has, I think middle ground is the way yes. to go. Also, also, I think we need to be pragmatic in what we can pass with the with the Supreme Court and our own party. 
Although everyone should like this, right? Balanced picture, yes. We will be making history. If we succeed, I'm not sure we do. Okay, second one. The new constitution will remove the Supreme Court's right to vote on legislation. Wow, I'm sure the Supreme Court's it's not gonna be a fan of that one. They're gonna love it. So, but the, all parties agreed on it. Saul established this rule to protect his constitution. Judges are his pawns, though. Hmm. Will be very difficult to accomplish with a reform like this, particularly because we will keep the two thirds vote system. Okay, got it. However, the judiciary will not have the final say. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, thinking I, I, about I'm, this, I'm, this. I'm thinking why would the would the court support this? I mean, we do, we do support. They won't. <laughs> My vote and yeah, okay. So we do need to find an agreement with Isabel. Okay. Okay. Other major demands, really. It's not getting any easier, is it? They Isn't want to reform the appointment procedure of the ministers. The assembly should have a say in the formation of the council of ministers. This is something that a majority in our party also supports. Do oh, we like uh, that? I mean, normally the president does appoint his, or the government does appoint the ministers, but then again, the assembly is. I think if the assembly it's has okay. sort of an approval or if they can make nominations or something like that, I think that's not outrageously demagogic or anything. So I think that would be an appropriate way to do things. I mean, the question is, could they veto, veto uh, our an appointment? Nominations, yeah. And do we want that? Okay, and then we've got the member of honor rights of Tucker and Saul that give him absolute immunity and makes him a permanent member of the assembly. Huh. Yeah, I dislike that idea, but on the other hand, that problem is going to go away over time anyway. And the USP won't like that. And just as a reminder, we do need them to turn out in, in favor of the of the change. I mean, what, what does it mean even? I mean, the member of honor rights of Tarkin Sol that gives him absolute immunity makes him a permanent member. So... But he's still just one member exactly. of the 166 people assembly. So, so I don't not, think not 166. No. So I don't think it's a it's a big problem um, because he's just how many 250 right? 250. So yes. he's not. This seat is not big time relevant. It's relevant because of the immunity. Yeah, the legal immunity that's an issue. But I don't think you know. Given the state of affairs in this country, I don't think it's it's. It's a wound you want to tear open by by prosecuting him. Not that we know that he's strictly done um, anything illegal, right? He's pushed the country into a direction that is not necessarily democratic, but it's not like he's he's done human yeah. rights abuses. No, no, but uh, I don't like the the idea of like putting him up there and making him a member of honor. No, I but don't, as I, he is, yeah. I mean, do we want to go that down that road and abolish that and? I think our party is going to hate it. Yes. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Keep everything... Bet. Yeah, it's the safest bet. It's not the... But it is sort of what we are standing for. <laughs> Centrist. I think... I think either number two or three. I, I think... I think comprehensive reforms, given the given the state of majorities, is, is something... I'd rather have good reforms that get rid of the worst abuses without but but actually manage to implement them you know uh, yes if you're going for for comprehensive reforms and then not manage to implement them because yeah. they're going to be <laughs> rejected then we have no reforms at all i would say um number three they have valid concerns that we need to look at i, I don't know exactly who I whether that's the reformist or the conservatives but let's see Yes, but I didn't like the the choice of le let's keep the changes small. Small, small sounds. sounds sounds not good. Okay. So he's drafting something up. Seems like we are wrapping up. Yeah. Democracy. Yes.
Good. Okay, yes. have a good day. Bye-bye. Everyone leaving the room. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see in the news. Promising industrial potential. Mayor of Christian has reported decision to stop the construction of the Hell Railway. So the railway is um, Lovely. like attracting investors in regions near the city of Conrad. Good, good. That's this is the first good news on the economy. <laughs> <laughs> Still only at a 3 out of 10 yeah, or something. It is, it is though. I mean, uh, normally the news is like riots, 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 and people are starving. Yes. Um, election bill workers of Blundia are also trying to do that. That's good. Ah, no. They are upset about the funding. The issue that I was talking about earlier. Well, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, okay, car has started working. Yes. Good, good, good. Clearing lands, transporting equipment, construction starting in the next month. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. So we are now meeting that oh, lovely also. old Chief Justice. The Hawk. Wait. Signing, signing, signing. So the Chief Justice wants to speak. So he he asked for a Let's stay sober. Meeting. Also Skyline. Crack on the door. Just Lucian. 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 Uh, What's your involvement in that? You. Yeah. I think he's just always around. The Chief Justice insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know what he has to say. But it's about the new constitution. It's not surprising. Test the waters, threatening to stop. Who's Mr. Grarasi? Okay, uh, is a, he is a justice of the Supreme Court. He was Minister of Justice and Law. Army, soldiers of the war. He was... Put in by Saul. Strong support of Saul. Okay, he's a he's, conservative. He's a member of the USP, but conservative. Yeah. conservative. Honestly, I don't think we'll be able to cooperate with them. I think we'll need to overrule them, but... I mean, we can listen to them, but we want to go ahead with the constitution. Just go for number one. I think that he is here to test the waters. Mm, it's probably two. Three knocks. Knock, knock, knock. There you are. Good evening, evening. Uh, yes. Oh, we can address them correctly. I don't think it matters. Yes, just <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit down. Get to it. <laughs> we don't need to have a presidential <laughs> decision for you to sit down. Um, so, how are we doing? Uh, rough start, extremely good. No need to worry. Pleasantries, get to the point. Um, Thank you, it's busy. very busy, but I'm doing good. I mean, we don't have to be rude. Yeah, true. Shooting. He's, but he's saying, uh, I think you're doing a good job so far, considering yeah. all that's happening. Well, <laughs> then he's he's. It's he's, a troubling it's time. It's a troubling time. So, so you probably know why we are here. You have to bribe me. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's always an um, option. Like in every conversation, please, it's always please, an option. Please, please enlighten us. You know you're working on a constitution and the Supreme Court does not approve. So Lucian is saying it needs to be updated. Interesting point. Interesting point. A weaker constitution in the midst of problem both internally and externally. He will make sure it will not pass the Supreme Court. That much is clear. Well, that's quite a statement. We can figure something out. Um, honestly, I don't think we'll be able to. F I mean, the the key to me is the centrist. I, I think. We can I'm I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. convinced we will get him anywhere. But we still don't have to make a, actively make an enemy out of him. No, let's let's be pleasant then. Let's see why he should be against that. Do you think I live? I don't know where you live. You might be living on a rock fall. I know. <laughs> I, I, I like how you switch from let's not make an enemy out of him to just insulting <laughs> him within 10 seconds. Please let us... So, yeah, please explain. We are protecting the constitution because it works, Mr. President. It's efficient, gives you the authority to lead the nation with swift, swift decisions. decisions. So his point is we shouldn't be... Uh, have internal struggles about changing power structures while there's there are threats. I, I cannot completely disagree with him. You know, there's 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 an external war looming. 
there is almost a civil war looming between the conservatives and, and the um, communists. And I'm not sure that any of that is strictly speaking caused by a but weakness is there of our... Is ever a good time to change a constitution? Well, there might be a less um, worse time. But we did promise and we were elected with that promise. That's true. Um, blue separatists, yes, we know about all of our problems. Trust me, we know. Hmm. I am actually of a mind of of being. You know what? If he's if he's is he insinuating that that we are tolerating this situation? I think we should not come off as completely weak. Okay. Yeah, they're being a little bit blunt here. Why can't you admit that we are making sense here? Okay, so he's bringing up the issue, this the sort of of Northern Ireland situation with Blundia, where they've got armed separatists and the the party. I'm not sure Workers' Party is a democratic party. I'm not sure either. They, they, there are some, some links between them. I don't want to go for... Number one? I yeah. mean, yeah. So what are you getting at, actually? The only reason they are not in the assembly is because of the electoral threshold. They've gotten quite big. And all of a sudden, the reformers are trying to decrease the electoral threshold so that the blue separatists can be legitimized in the assembly to achieve their aims of independence. Uh huh. I think it's a far fetch. So what's? But I, I mean, seriously, I don't get it. What's your problem with us changing the constitution? I mean, you think I we need a strong president to suppress? The Workers' Party, I, Communists... I, I think his idea is that the um, that the threshold is going to be decreased too. The the threshold at, at which a party is going to repre be represented yeah, in yes. the Assembly. Which is currently 10%. And they have achieved a little bit less than that. And if that threshold is decreased, these guys would come in and they would be... I mean, they would not be taking over the country, but they'd be more legitimate, I guess. Hmm. And the same with the communists. So he's saying we should take the necessary measures against communists and blutish plots and increase the military. So, yes. No. And not fall into the traps of the reformers. <laughs> I think you're yeah, just mixing things up. I'm sorry, but... Yeah. But I am with him on the on the on the point that you know you should have some some sort of minimal threshold so that not everyone is represented in in parliament. Otherwise, you have like Weimar state with thousands of parties being in there. Yes, but still, I mean. No, I'm not agreeing to any of his other points. <laughs> it's the rest is and it's it's as you I, say, I it's agree with Lucian. I think this is getting slightly R ridiculous. ridiculous. I'm tending towards number three. I mean, I find him sort of annoying by now. I mean, he's deep into his conspiracy yeah. theories. Okay, let's, let's. Okay. Do you have any? The person in question is Mr. Franz Richter, the leader of the reformers. He has ties with Arcasia. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's, that's perfectly fine. We love these guys. That's, that's <laughs> not a problem. So they're aggressively growing their influence around the world. Now we have Mr. Richter coming up with these ridiculous demands for a new constitution amidst a chaotic. So you're saying the US is influencing Mr. Richter to have more influence. And be more democratic, as we ourselves want to be. What a, what a perfidious plot, I say. We all know he has been in Acacia many times because it's been documented. Wow. Ah, okay, but this is this is an interesting point. Hidden flights to the country. That is That is that is a little bit more interesting. Hotel in Acacia where they have conference 
start to influence Moss into believing that our constitution is the reason for everything bad. Mm. So he's just sort of being influenced. So what I'm hearing is that the US, UK, whatever is is financing him a little bit, or at least it might be. It might be. I mean, it's not proper, but it is, is it a problem for us? Not sure yet. No, not in the slightest. The only question is, can we use it? So he met the occasion Minister of Foreign Affairs. So yeah, you're spying just... on him. Uh -huh. There were clear photos. What? What? Huh? Hang on. What? What is the evidence? A uh, small file containing documents from the border guards that show that he's not basically. He's not not on there. He's not and officially um, leaving the country. Leaving the country, and but he, he is. He has been there. So there's there's a certain clash there between that. Of course, it might be that these files are, are bad, but you don't know when the. F I mean, he he was in Acacia, and there yeah. are photos of him. I mean, it doesn't say that it has been on the same dates. Okay, Lucian at least thinks that they are real. Yeah, honestly, still, still. Check the information. Okay, that's cool, but I don't think that's. I don't. That's not. That's that is not an emergency. <laughs> One thing that it isn't is an emergency. And and none of this changes anything about the constitution needing an upgrade. And us Why? making a commitment to I that, mean, he's, right? what what is his interest? I mean, he's saying this is an emergency. The constitution gives the president the, the right to use his emergency powers. If we work together, you can be sure that the Supreme Court will not block your declaration of emergency. So he wants no, us no. to declare a state of emergency yeah. to give us like Look absolute rights. Look at him. He's he's a, a I, strong I state smell a guy. conspiracy theory there. I I want to say no. I just. I just no, no, like definitely that. no. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just want to send you off now. Yeah, I sort of had enough. I, I, I'm about to go. No, away. go for number three. If you say. Yeah. We may have to make sure our reforms are past the court. I won't take care of them. <laughs> Fair enough. And, and we do yeah. need to be mindful that he is controlling the conservative faction or it was said that the conservative leader, the leader of the conservative wing of our own party in the assembly, that she is uh, basically submitting to him. So we need to be a little bit careful there. Yeah. And also that, yes, he, he will definitely try to divide our own party and make sure that the constitution doesn't even pass through assembly. Okay, that was interesting. That was interesting. So, also, Hawker, I'm sorry, but we are not going to be friends, I think. Nope, we are not going to be friends. I mean, this is might be a problem that will one day be solved by old age, but not yet. Not quite. We can't wait for that. I mean. No. Well, we'll see. I think, uh, nevertheless, this is a good place to put in a cut. So, oh, let's uh, just briefly look at the, the news here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We know so that we and we are. Press knows we've been seeing him. Okay, so let's so. see what what uh, happens next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Do leave a like and everything, and I hope to see you around Bye. next time. Bye bye.